Hello friends. Uh, today we are going to discuss sustainability awareness and standards of pharmaceutical industry. This presentation I prepared as a part of inter international FDP on environment and sustainability. Myself Dr. Mohan Kalaskar from R.C. Patel Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research. So, uh, as per the guideline, the second page of my presentation includes the first week presentation YouTube link as well as their views and likes. Similarly, uh, I also mentioned the second week videos along with the YouTube link and views and likes. Second week presentation name or title was Pharmaceutical Waste and its Control Measures for Environmental Sustainability. The video outcome of this presentation is if someone watches this video or presentation, uh, it will be helps to understand the role of ISO 9000 and ISO 14016 in pharmaceutical industry, quality assurance and environmental sustainability. The different methods of carbon footprinting calculation are also he will understand. Uh, someone will understand the role of pharmaceutical industry in empowering the community toward the environment, sustainability and awareness. First of all, we will try to get an overview of international organization of standardization. The international organization of standardization is a voluntarily organization. It is the largest international organization which set a standards for multiple organizations or multiple uh, organizations which deals with the different areas in the different areas. It facilitates the world trade by providing the common standard among the nation as it is an international, so it produces a common standards. Till date, more than 20,000 standards have been established and these standards helps to create a products and services that are safe, reliable and good quality. It also increases the business productivity with the, which through the minimizing the errors and waste. ISO 9000 with respect to pharmaceutical industry we will see the, it includes the quality management systems. So, so that is nothing but a bundles or sets of the standards that help the pharmaceutical industry to ensure the customer and stakeholder needs within a statutory and re regulatory requirement related to the product and services. ISO 9000 specifically deals with the quality management services, so quality management systems and it is it, it based upon the seven quality management principles. So, ISO 9000 with respect to pharmaceutical industry we want to see Basically, in ISO 9000 family, there are four guidelines are there, ISO 9001, which is a quality assurance model for design or development along with production, installation and services above in, in related to the pharmaceutical industry. ISO 9002 is a quality assurance model for production and installation. ISO 9003 is a quality assurance model for final inspection and test and ISO 9004 is a quality management and quality system element guidelines with respect to the production as well as the services in the pharmaceutical industries. ISO 14000 is something different than the ISO 9000. ISO 9000 was related, is related to the quality assurance or we can say sustainability assurance or quality assurance of the product. While in ISO 14000 it deals with the environmental management in the organization. So, these are nothing but guidelines which deals with the environmental management which helps the organization to minimize their operations which negatively affect the environment that is nothing but the air, water and land. These guidelines has been designed so that it complies with the applicable laws, regulations and other environmentally oriented requirements in the different worlds, in the in different regular, in different in the different world, it continuously improves, it is a dynamic in nature. So, as per the requirement, it changes. So, that is the beauty of the ISO 14000. ISO 14000, with related to the pharmaceutical industry, includes the first guideline ISO 14001, which gives a requirement with the guidance for use of the ISO 14000 guidelines. ISO 14004 and 14005, which use and guidelines of implementation of ISO 14000 guidelines along with their phased implementation. ISO 14006 
it gives a guideline for incorporating input science ISO 14015 is nothing but environmental assessment of site and organization to some guidelines ISO 14020 to 14025 uh, gives the environmental labels and declarations guidelines ISO 14030 is, is gives a guideline for environmental performance of nominated projects and assets it also discuss the post production environmental assessments and evaluations ISO 14031 which use a guideline for environmental performance evaluation during the production of the organization or during the running of the organization ISO 14040 to 14049 use the guideline for life cycle assessment discuss the pre production planning and environmental goal setting ISO 14062 is it is it is nothing but integrated environmental aspects into product design and development ISO 14064 which is specifically is, is deals with the greenhouse gases measurement and quantification of such greenhouse gases and reducing measures for greenhouse gases emission so here we uh, I discussed with the number of formulae which are being present to calculate the carbon footprinting. So pharmaceutical industry is a very dynamic industry. It involves a variety of utilization of variety of energy sources. So here I mentioned uh, the carbon footprinting calculation for electricity as an energy, petrol as an energy, diesel as an energy, LPG as an energy. So this is a sustainable industrial process alternative based on eco-efficiency approach. Means if industry want to approach for a certain certain industrial process, how this industrial process has to be considered uh, for the production purpose or for the process purpose, uh, which should be eco-efficiency. I given the this is in a in the chart form. So this is selection of process route. We, whatever in this industry want to do an industrial process then later on the data for stimulation are uh, simulations availability if the company has data for simulation availability they can directly go to the con conceptual design and simulation rather than data collection through this conceptual design and simulation uh, he can uh, the industry can do a convergence analysis evaluation of potential trades of considering the sustainability issue and based on that, one can measure the sustainability matrix. If it is there, he can measure. Or if it is not there, sustainable matrix, he has to define the matrix as an environmental matrix, thermodynamic matrix, eco economic matrix, and safety matrix. If it is there, then directly based upon the sustainability matrix, a defined sustainability matrix, one can do a sustainability comparison by doing uh, analysis, qualitative analysis and quantitative analysis and based upon the analysis results one can select the most eco-efficient eco alternative this is general guidelines so this this also this is also applicable to the pharmaceutical industry and other industries also <coughs> then we are going to see a role of pharmaceutical industry in empowering the community so as we are being aware that the pharmaceutical industry basically deals with the drugs and these drugs are known as active pharmaceutical ingredients so this active ph manufacturing of this active pharmaceutical ingredients is involved chemical synthesis and this chemical synthesis may be a multiple step synthesis which involves the various chemicals it may be corrosive and non corrosive during the synthetic process the most of the green gases and waste by the uh, hazardous waste produces nowadays the industry, pharmaceutical industry as a social responsibility they are turning to the utilization of the biotechnology Rather than biotechnology, we can so tell that use of enzymes and microorganisms for conversion of such a precursor of API to the final um, APIs or we can say druggable molecules. Such techniques are known as white biotechnology. Certain uh, big giants in pharmaceutical technology, uh, like Bayer and Pfizer, they start to utilize this vital and uh, this white biotechnology. They, as in role towards the society pharmaceutical industry start to empowering their employee through energy and water conservation at work home and in, in communities so that environmental sustainability should be maintained they also motivating their line staff 
motivating and educating the line staff to energy conservation and environmental sustainability during the processes. The role of pharmaceutical industry in keeping green data and as well as cool data. So during this management of the number of researches, the pharmaceutical industry um, uh, their, their data is enclosed or their data is in a within a circulation, so it is not in public domain. So they has to maintain through our servers. So their servers, uh, uh, they has to be well preserved through a well uh, uh, securitized servers. And during this, it requires a management of their IT. And nowadays, some pharmaceutical industries, uh, they are being reducing the energy consumption by using and green IT programs. Also, they are being adopting in green aisles housing, uh, reducing the energy requires for keeping the computer server. Thus, uh, they, they are being uh, doing an environmental sustainability and uh, reducing the power consumption. Role of pharmaceutical industry in moni moni monitoring the monitoring the APIs. So, API emission we already discussed in the last uh, uh, YouTube uh, video. The API are very small molecules and uh, these molecules produces the, uh, uh, the large the produced molecules they come through the sewage into our drinking water and they are unfilterable so people have been drinking uh, the, the same water has been given to the uh, their plants as well as to the animals and thus the epa pollution takes place and thus there is an uh, pharma industry requirement that um, the it, it should be take over the control of the API populations and it should be monitor or it should be maintained at environmental preference concentration and it should not go to the maximum tolerance concentration. Thank you, thank you very much for listening my video.